something to myself, um, even though that was a big part of what I studied. Um, actually, I started out my career as a project manager for a translation agency. So, uh, yeah, there I was mostly working on overseeing uh, translation for um, an FMCG company, a uh, fast moving and consumer goods company. Um, and that was mostly marketing content. Uh, a lot of it was for mainstream European languages, so I spent a lot of time checking French and Spanish translations and working with freelancers who translated into those languages. Um, but also uh, some other languages like Greek and German. You would be amazed at how many errors a second pair of eyes can pick up looking over a translation, uh, even if that second pair of eyes actually um, doesn't really recognise a lot of the words. Uh, so yeah, more on that later. Um, but by this time I knew full well that practising translation is a great discipline for honing language skills. So when I moved to Spain to teach English as a foreign language, I made sure that my students got plenty of translation practice in. So fast forward a few years, and as I mentioned earlier, I now work as the Languages Manager um, at Language Learning Company New Talk. Um, we have an app for learning uh, over 150 languages, so I think you would all agree that's quite a lot of languages. Uh, my day-to-day -day work involves managing the localization of the Utalk app that you can see here, as well as our website, utalk.com. Uh, it's currently being localized into or for 27 different territories, including Mongolia. So as you can imagine, I pretty much live and breathe translation. 